manipulation, CTR manipulation, CTR manipulation. We'll have Mike Merlino, likely Chris Palmer, maybe even Brent, Brent Bowser coming in. And of course, myself, we're going to be talking all things CTR manipulation. Make sure, make sure, make sure you get your questions in. We'll be answering them. Go ahead and start dropping your questions in. And we're going to go ahead and get started for right now. I'm going to let you guys go ahead and, if you will, listen to some music while we get these questions coming in. And um, let me get this going here. And y'all can sit back, chill out. And then once we get started, we'll be answering all questions related to, if you will, CTR manipulation. So get your questions in. Hey, yo. <laughs> uh, this is a true story. Now, get your pad and a pen. Black smart. Let's start taking <laughs> some notes because school's in session. And hopefully, you will learn a goddamn thing while William and Chris break SEO down and chop it all up. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. Hey, yo. So many SEOs, they be hating on me. Saying I'm stealing the methods, how can't you see? They bitch, they cry, but they can't believe how much better I am. Yo, looking at my team, like head SEO, haters, they scared since I came. Last year I was a nobody, now I be dominating the game. Most wanted, no competition, they going insane. My skills out of this world, owners love my name. All of my brothers, they buy. I'm a rep. Devil of God, and climbing the top, while haters they fly, all of my projects they pop, I cannot see you from the top, my haters they act like they forgot the black hat, SEOs kill me, all of my projects they pop, uh, I'm a rep devil of God, I go get it, climbing the top, while haters they fly, yeah. all of my projects they pop, I cannot see you from the top, my haters they act like, like they, they forgot, forgot the black hat, SEOs kills we got, yeah. Act like you know better Going to heaven, yeah You good at pretending Lying, you're a goody-goody That's offending Dressing well, laughing in a paradise It's clever, but I'm real, yeah I'm just sitting in my black hoodie Black Tim's on me, now that shit is goody Getting them benches like Cuba getting them goodies Yeah, foes, says yo's hate cause I'm standing I'll be out here on some strict shit No sleeping, yeah Work hard to make it click Profits on the way, bank it got my drip Walk in a bank, close it down, so damn fucking quick, yeah All of my projects they buy, I'm a rap devil like guy, yeah I go getting climbing the top, while haters they fly All of my projects they pop, I cannot see you from the top My haters they acting like they forgot the black head SEO skills we got, yeah I get results, I don't waste no time, that's why my peers hating, yeah I hear them crying, all of you SEO frauds get in line I'ma make you scream, cause all of those kids are mine. I rap, I'm talking to you. You lying, little bitch. Fuck you and your crew. How's that mama couch comfy for you? Pathetic little loser, what you gonna do? I'm talking to you. Tell me what you gonna fucking do. Fuck your zombie coming like William Jones, SEO. Stop with the bullshit. You suck at your job. Stop hating on me and kiss the ring. Of the fucking king, bitch. Of the fucking king. All of my projects they pop. I'm a rep devil of God. I'm gonna get in, climbing the top. All haters they fly. All of my projects they pop. I cannot see you from the top. My haters they act like they forgot the black hat. SEOs kill me. All of my projects they pop. Uh, I'm a rep devil of God. We I go get in, climbing the top. Uh, while haters they fly. Yeah. All of my projects they pop. Uh, I cannot see you from the top. My haters they act like, like they, they forgot, forgot the black hat. SEOs, skills we got. All of my projects they pop. Yeah. I'm a rep devil of God. Yeah. I go get in, climbing the top. Uh, all of my projects they I can I hear you, man? <laughs> can, you hear me? can you hear me now? Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. What's up, man? How are you? Not much. How are you doing? Looking healthy as hell. <laughs> yeah, man. Good. I'm trying. Good. I'm doing I'm trying good, to keep man. up it's... with you. How are you doing? 
No, no. <laughs> no, I'm trying to keep up with you, man. No, nah, I, 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 um, uh, you know, after Thanksgiving, we had, uh, like the little guy had five days off from, um, private school or whatever they call it. Mm. Um, so that's, that's been really fun. Uh, other than that, you know, just been working and, uh, doing our thing. Yeah. We took off for last week. So I literally just went, um, I'm taking off, you know, as far as courses and stuff, but as far as my lives, they still were going on. <laughs> How many freaking accounts do you have? You mean as far as what? YouTube accounts. I have personally myself two that Five. I contribute to, one that someone, at least two others that someone else is using. When I say someone else is using, I'm using it to, you know, rank certain specific channels. videos for and boost the channel. That's it. So four. Yeah, it's not it's just a few. So I like Holly. Holly, Holly's like I talked to her this weekend. She's like she just bought another thousand domains or some shit. <laughs> yeah, she's on another page. <laughs> You're man. nuts. I literally asked her. I said, "How many? Um, how much staff do you have working?" She's like, "Just, just her and her kids." And I'm like, what "The fuck? yep, that's it." Yeah, I had the same question. <laughs> how many of you are there the, again? There's. I'm just. Well, I love her. Process. I don't know how they do it, but it's like you've got to have. She's like, it's all on automation. So if it's not on yeah, like automation, there's me, no way. I watched her launch 40 sites in literally mm. 20 minutes. <laughs> so, God. you know, like, like the process, uh, I mean, but we don't, we didn't get to see all the headaches that it took to get to that, to be able to yeah. do it that way. You know, how much time yeah, did she's, it take to figure that out? You know? It's like I was saying something on a live with Jason or something the other day. We're talking about having an exit strategy. She's like, she's the same way. I was like, you don't have an exit strategy. You're just an employee. And yeah. You know, once you get that exit. exit strategy, you have a business. So, but um, yeah, I am. See, I'm I'm from a different um, I'm a different breed, man. I, I was always, you know, you run until uh. You just keep running right, until the boys come, <laughs> right? You just keep, it, keep rolling, dude. <laughs> I you just keep working, man. I I, I always um. What else is there to do, man? I I truly enjoy this. I I like uh, I like doing this. I picked up uh, I picked up two different guys this week, which was kind of uh fun. Um, yeah, there's one guy, believe it or not, it's funny. He's coming to me and he's coming to you the same day. And we're both doing uh, a consult for him, um, believe it or not. It's kind of funny. Let me. On the um, same day? Same day. Hmm. Which guy is it? What's his first name? Uh, let me pull it up. Jin, Johnny Chin. He wrote you. I'll put it that way. In one of your groups, he said, hey, PMG or set up a consult with you. Yep, he's on here too. Oh, we didn't talk to him yet. It's somebody yeah, I fresh. Talked to him yet. Yeah, it's someone fresh and uh oh, he wants oh, to talk oh, to you. Oh. He's gonna talk to me too. Cool. Johnny's a good guy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's fine. Hey Johnny. Um hey 8 Holly. PM tomorrow. Yeah, and then with me, he is at my time, which would be 10 p.m. So he got me first. Damn, I want to go after he, you. I have to. I have to go after the big show. You know. I uh, see. I wanted to go after you. Yeah. <laughs> go after the big show, which is Chris. So um, let's see what I else had, you got going to here. I had guys for a while go to. We're going to Craig, and then they'd come to me. And he, and I, a few times he's like, "Yeah, pretty much everything you're saying is exactly what Craig told me to do." Right. <laughs> and I'm like, well. You know, no yeah, matter Craig's who you been, ask, Craig, <laughs> Craig's been sending some people to me. I've had a couple of people contact me. He said, um, you know, Craig told me to contact him. with Craig who? Because I actually know two Craigs, both with, yeah, the, you know, cool. and he's like Craig Campbell. I was like, Craig, you mean Craig Campbell, the Craig Campbell? I know Black Hat Craig Campbell. Yeah, that Craig Campbell. So yeah, I'm Craig's cool. Great. So thank you, Craig. Uh, what's this? Holly goes. 
We set up 180 sites this evening. My hand, duh, my hands now hurt. You were up at 3 a.m. Oh, God. Where's the other guys at? I'm waiting. He, um, Mike Merlino, he's like, he's him trying to stay awake. (laughs) But he has a drink, an energy drink. And then uh, Brent Bowles are supposed to be in here, too, so. Um, yep. I just ordered some energy drinks myself. So, yeah, I order them. But uh, yep, Holly, you're crazy. Yeah. I don't know. She wrote me this weekend, thousand freaking websites. Pretty consistent. I I order them now. I used to not order them. I used to pay top dollar, and then I was like, wait, if what's, I buy a case, they're only a buck a what's piece. Up? Uh, purpose mind marketing. What's up? Hey, what's up, man? Yo, this is yeah, crazy. Johnny's Yo, you're saying, funny. You switched uh, over to. Give me one second. You switched to the same exact thing that I was switched to. <laughs> you fucker. <laughs> I saw. I told you. I said you were. You were actually doing a live. You were doing a live, and the day before, I had switched to restream. And I went, that's why I started messaging you. You were going on restream. I said, dude, it's awesome. Dude, it's awesome. Dude, it's you way better. Everybody like, was using that different? stream yard. I'm like, oh, I'm switching, man. This It looks sick, yeah. dude. It's, yeah, at I was first playing you're on stream, yeah, stream yard, you were like, you're sitting there playing with me. He's like, mm, it's okay. And I was like, no, dude, the restream key alone. Just the yeah. fact I can go on Twitch. I can go on all these channels. And then when I send you the link, you have the ability to go live on your channel and my channel or whoever else you want. You know, yes. so way better. Way better. Um, and it's, that's it's set up better it. too. Chris chat for the email. Yeah, I love it. So I'd been thinking about restream for a bit. And then the day I, the day before you did live, I signed up for restream. I was like, I think Chris probably saw me go live with restream. So yeah, nope, it's, he did it anyways. Yeah, dude, no, it. they sent me, uh, I, the only reason I bought it was, A, uh, everyone was going to StreamYard, so I've been looking, and that Andre guy put me on mm-hmm. when I talked to him, he's like, restream, I'm like, all right, restream it is. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, the only thing I can't figure out is the chat overlay, that part I can't figure out yet, like right now I have the chat overlay on it, but it's not showing the chats coming up in the right hand side, that part I can't figure out. Do you have a screen open though? Is it showing up if you go over to YouTube? Do you see it on YouTube, the chat in better, whatever it's called? Uh, give me one second. No, I, think, I think it does. I think we just don't see it. Maybe. maybe I'm not sure. Maybe that's the way it shows, but I'll be curious. So I was like, it was so cool when I seen you were on it too. I was like, yeah, dude. dude. Yeah, I mean, I winners, it. you know, we're, we're, we're here, season. dude. <laughs> Have you I'm seen like, my well, thumbnails, now? <laughs> You've seen my thumbnails. I got a, now I got a graphics person doing all my thumbnails now, too. Good. No, that's, it's, I it's think looking, that's key. Yeah, I like yeah, I don't, I don't see the I don't see the chat overlay, but it's interesting. I don't know. I'll take a look at it. But, yeah, I hired someone to actually do the uh, thumbnails and stuff. And, yeah. Uh, made my life a lot easier i just here's a spreadsheet here's all my topic and ideas you make the thumbnail send them to me so and i've been watching the see what you've been aiming for Uh because i'm like okay um i i see the specific keywords that you're targeting Mm -hmm. so i i like i like that i like that angle take that away from someone else that really likes that keyword Yeah, you know why I did that though is because I have this awesome friend named Chris Palmer that yeah. told me that every time he tries, he goes live, that that certain person always rises to the cream or always rises to the top. So therefore, I went, "You're not having local SEO." <laughs> yeah, dude. Literally I- everything local, 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 local. <coughs> I've considered changing the name of uh, my channel. Uh, my channel's name is William Jones SEO, but I'm thinking about changing the actual what you see to William Jones SEO. But yeah, I, I saw know. another channel pop up too, and I've been trying. I there's I've, another one, it's William O. Jones SEO Reviews. Then I have White Label SEO Services, and then yeah. I have another one, Rank Fortress Reviews. I believe. I believe there's four or five of them. That's what they all line up with. So, 
you know, I'm trying to figure out, um, like I have one that I'm playing with right now for local SEO and I'm going to see if I can get it to jump up there a little bit. I mean, you have quite a few of them, so I don't know if one's going to be good enough, but we're going to see. Yeah. I, you know, I'm going after same thing. It's like, mm -hmm. and that's why I put you at yeah, the, I could see the very you're end, at the very end of every video. I say, Hey, go watch mm -hmm. Chris Palmer and uh, William Jones here. So they're going to your channel as well. But and I almost I'm broke my own stupid. oath. I almost broke your my oath? own oath. I was gonna go what? for Black Hat the other day. Oh. I put out a video first, and then I was I got done with it. And I'm like, uh, no, nah, I'm gonna erase it. <laughs> I don't want nothing to do with that. You please yeah, you don't. You, you told me. You so. got that all day. It's very yeah. helpful for me. I, I don't <laughs> want. I don't want anything to do with that. I do not want to be was, known as the I Black was, Hat guy. I was telling someone the other day because someone specifically it's like well well um black hat is just mean you're building links and you're not abiding by google's terms of services i was like no that's not the only thing black hat is i said look at black hat it's unethical mm -hmm. and by any means necessary and can be illegal can be not it necessarily be. illegal but i'm just saying it can be and you got these people, well, Black Hat's just using CTR manipulation or whatever. It's like, you're full of crap. I don't know about that. I wish it was. You Chad know, said so. to email him. Yeah. Chad said oh. to email him. He's asking here, how's your Chrome plugin doing, William? I love it. So, Kevin, um, he's. Do I know he told me, Holly, he's doing one for you as well. Um, I personally would, would cause what it does do, Chris don't know about this yet, but I also have my own Chrome extension for GMB help support. And it has a DA 90 backlink going to the website that I have set up for it. But what happens is anytime I go live, it sends out push notifications to everybody. Anytime I upload a video, push notifications to everybody. So, um, yeah, Holly, I would definitely use it. It's amazing. Um, so, oh my God, William Jones is listed first for every version of, <laughs> ah, I can't wait till we do our event in uh, January, Holly, cause I want to go after, we'll do that, um, YouTube where we're doing what a hundred videos about various topics and shit. That'll be fun. Um, I heard someone was going after the keyword best digital marketing company in Tumaquam, Pennsylvania, in case you didn't notice. Uh, oh yeah, he, yeah, but I don't, I don't look at these people. I look past them. Yep. <laughs> That's like a joke to me. As, uh, as Chris, <laughs> as Chris would say, kiss the ring of the king. Yeah, dude, I don't. <laughs> No way. You're not getting me, man. I'm too smart for you guys. Not them, man. No way. Chris is the guy that calms my ass down. So if y'all think y'all no Chris, you forget about it. I mean, it was a nice try, but I mean, I don't. No way. So if, Chris can use, if Chris can use a damn drive stack with Lorm Epsom text and get ranked for number one SEO expert in New York, please, bitch. Take that shit somewhere else. <laughs> yeah. Warm Epsom text. Yeah, well, and that was real. actually a whole nother play. I was I was actually playing a bigger game there. That it was it was nice to show off, but really the play was that the really the play is I've I've been trying to get my boys to harass that Monty guy. Yeah. Because how Kyle got on was that dude wrote an article about him. So I've been trying to ping that dude like, hey, look at this. It's still broke. Look at this. It's still broke. Go tell on me. Go tell on me. You know what I mean? That was the, that's what I've been trying to do. So if any of y'all want to go tell on me, I'll give you guys the, uh, I'll give you guys the account. Awesome. <laughs> so yeah, Holly, Holly you you in, installed that uh, Chrome extension so you can spy on me. I love it. I love it. Yeah, it's yeah. good. It's a good, I like because it gets notifications. I get notifications on top of it, Chris. You get notifications every time someone signs up on your cell phone. So anytime someone signs up or downloads my Chrome extension, I get it. If you go Google 
in the Chrome store right now, GMB Help, we're like in the top three. Really? You know, yeah. So um, I think it's under Chrome. I have to look at it real quick. There's Mike Merlino. What's up, Mike? What's up, Mike? <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, hello. Hey, buddy. Good evening. How are you? Good. How you doing? How y'all doing? Good. Doing good. So any uh, questions? Yeah, actually, number one. I'm sorry. If you type in Chrome extension, go GMB help. We're number one. Beautiful thing. And uh, we're working. As soon as I do this other push, I'm going just for GMB or Google My Business, and we'll be number one for that, too. So uh, here you go. Um, all right. Got a bunch of them coming in now. All right. Home care marketing by approved SEO network. Awesome. Yeah. Holly. Holly will Holly will say it for you, Chris. Though she What's sees that? it, she sees it. What we were talking about earlier, and she'll deal with it. <laughs> oh yeah, I, I um, I mean, I, I, I can. I He's mean, the nice guy. Yeah, Chris is the I mean, nice guy. You know, that's um, that's a very long key word. Yeah, it's a very long key word. Very easy to rank for it too. Like, well, I don't think that that's a website, is it? I don't know. Very and two, not. I don't think my site even mentions that one time. I don't even yeah. think I was targeting that. <laughs> I mean, I was looking at that, like, Tamaqua, Pennsylvania, I think population is 940 people. I think. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> Maybe 400 people? Yeah. I don't even know, dude. There's, like... Nobody here. <laughs> I'm like the only guy here. That's okay, though. It's cool, man. It's um, but yeah, this. man, that would be really good looking out, though, man. If, if somebody, I beg of you guys, please, anybody in the chat that would like to point out for me, do me a favor. I'm going to put this in here real quick, private chat. If anybody would like to point out to this guy right here, about that site ranking for New York SEO, please tell on me to that guy right there. <laughs> that would be super dope of you. I'm doing sins. That's a favor that to me. And I, uh, you know, this, this guy, yeah, he don't like me too much. No? No, if it's who I think it is. Because I think that was a couple of years like back. Um, I think that would be... Um, you know, it, it's been all these years and, and we're still broken. I think that's newsworthy, you know. Um, I think that's a good play. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? That's how I was looking at it um, when it went, like initially. And then I just got lucky and I was like, okay, cool. Maybe we could run this all the way to the to the end zone. <laughs> so what's up with these questions? Oh, this is really crazy. I'm going here. through it. Crazy. This guy says he'll help you out. He'll rat you out, dude. He's a big rat snitch. Me out. George. But don't go rat me out on Google. Rat me out to this per, this person particular. From one SEO to another. It'd be super cool to get a Yeah, Holly. We're dropping. I'm dropping a whole tier network right now. Tier out, like we talked about with a text fragment regarding those terms me and you had talked about. So um let's see what's your limit on how many gmbs or i guess whatever gbps you manage under one email address uh so i think that's very dependent upon the is it for clients is it for yourself and what kind of practices are you doing you know like if it's for yourself and you're not doing anything shysty you know you can load them up but i mean if you're doing client work i would keep them separated Personally, that's what we do. So um, I keep them separated, especially if you're doing anything nefarious. That's my opinion. What do you do? Uh, what do you do, William? One for every single GMB, his ownership. All day. Yep. One. I got, um, 
have, don't uh, risk it. We, you, yeah. Good advice. Listen to Mike. I used to put them on multiple ones, but we have uh, we built out over a hundred this week. So, Chris, I got your bag. Um, Holly, there I sent that guys. to you as well. Yeah, hit that um, dude up are, and tell him it's broken still. Like, look what this guy did. <laughs> Make sure Mike, you're are you are you guys having a sale on Agency Assassin software for CTR manipulation at all? Well, that's not my software, but if you use the CTR Geeks, you get 10% off. Awesome. Let's see here. Mike smoking a joint. Yeah. <laughs> Chris is doing his chewing the back, and I'm eating hot dogs over here. That's it. We're a healthy bunch <laughs> over here. I am drinking water though. <laughs> Does that give me any points? I don't know. Chris, well, um, for freaking three days. I mean, how do I look? <laughs> Chris, you should get Craig to message <laughs> that Roger. I bet they know each other. Yeah, but that's too close to me. It's got to be. I. It can't look like a play. Washing, chewing to back it down with the tall boy energy. Yeah, I used to think he was tall. He's not tall, Chris. No, He's I'm like deceiving. I, I think I'm five six, five five, maybe. Holly says, I'm eating my nightly peanut butter and jelly and chips. Nice. <laughs> and you know, with a good pair of shoes, I might be five nine. It depends, man. You know. So CTR, so I started Ask some CTR questions. Come on, guys. Yeah, I ran some uh, link tests. I'm about to run some more with uh, Holly's network just to see, because I like I like how fast they show up. Um, but I I did blast a uh, one of my own assets with uh, the CID with backlinks mm. to see what would happen, and it was actually neutral. I was very surprised. Um, it's probably been about six days now and it just kind of sat. Um, I didn't see any up or down. It just stayed exactly where it was. So that's like the newest piece that I got. I went back in there just to test, um, you know, running packets at scale to listings and I have the same result again. So I'm pretty confident about that. I did it twice now and it was pretty much the same. I'm trying it though with, for a very high ranker to see if I can drop, get them off. And there's definitely, I think when there's more authority at play, I don't think it's enough to move it. But when you have somebody that's already, you know, not in that top four positions, you're able to move them down quite significantly. So if you're trying to get movement up, like say you're in position six and you really want to get up there a little bit more, certainly works um, without a doubt. <clears throat> so when you ramp up CTR, and you get the ranking you want, do you throttle back or keep it at a constant level? So generally, we just keep it level. Um, I will start decreasing, um, but not all at once. I wouldn't just shut everything off no matter what. I wouldn't, I don't shut it off. I keep it rolling definitely for branded. Mike. I've talked to other people though, they, you know, they'll do small little bursts. So I think a lot of people might have different processes, but I, I can't see anybody just shutting it off all at once. Are you guys doing something different? Nope. Oh, hell no. You don't ever want to shut. No, that's what, what you said. And branded, said. if anything, you ramp up, you don't turn that down. You should turn up your branded search because as your business grows, whether it's real or not, but you're trying to, fake it till you make it in Google's eyes, right? Your brand will be getting searched for more than when you originally started your CTR campaign, right? Only makes sense. Like we would say in last week, you got to use a little common sense sometimes. So no, to answer your question, do not ever stop branded traffic unless you naturally start getting it and it takes over and then you don't need to send it anymore, right? But 
until that happens and if it doesn't happen then you better keep sending that branded traffic till it does See here. How many did you push out? Holly's asking. Yeah, I was gonna ask that too. How many links and what type of links was it that you sent to the CID? Uh so the the very first run, and that's exactly that's what I was thinking to myself. The very first run was tw let's just say it was twenty thousand. How many of those actually indexed or got seen? That's to be determined, but it was definitely twenty thousand utilizing GSA. It was bl mostly blog comments, um, twenty thousand blog comments. But what we're gonna, what I'm gonna run through this time, so I can have a nice result for this week. Um, I'm probably just gonna run through a few through the network, if if I'm allowed. I hope I'm allowed. Um, I, I think I'm gonna run some more to CIDs to place IDs, and uh, I have another few that I want to test out. Um, and I'm going to see if that makes any difference. I'm, I'm assuming, though, looking at it, because these were really low-quality links. Not that it really matters, but – and it was really neutral. So, like, no, I saw nothing. It, it didn't change at all. That's so <coughs> weird. Very strange. Did yeah. you uh, – did you – was this test on one one donor property or one a donor. couple? Or yeah, One exactly. donor, Okay. And I mean, 20K links, some of them definitely got indexed. So Some of them got, for sure. Like, I didn't go back and check. I mean, I, that wasn't my interest. My interest was blast them out and then see yeah, what happens. Yeah, see, see what happens. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, you should test too, um, Chris, the same thing with like, you know, money robot links, SEO, autopilot, ranker X, whatever. Like a little bit of a level up from GSA maybe. And I'd like to test or have someone test – um safe links to the cid see, hey see, see if see if that holds up or that's not actually, i used to do i i used to do all this shit and it used to work fucking gangbusters dude that's a um, really that's a brilliant idea actually i didn't even think of that what an easy way to get a guarantee link that's placed that's a good idea thank you for that i i didn't even that didn't even cross my mind <laughs> and one and the last one i would say to test right is niche edits Cause you know, those are live, they already too. indexed. You don't got to worry about shit. If you get the right ones, they have traffic already. Right. So to be are, honest, be I was good. selfishly, I was being selfish. Cause I thought to myself, let's get the lowest quality links that I have access to right now. Right. And I didn't just choose, like, I didn't put any filters on it too. Like, you know, less than 20 outbound links. No, I was looking for the crappiest links spam I possibly spam. have. Spam. Mm -hmm. Yeah straight spam i was looking for a drop is what i was looking for to be able to prove a drop didn't come though so wow, that's that's quite yeah, that's fucking interesting it's quite fun very interesting let's see what we got going on here <clears throat> i'm gonna run it through with some better links though and see what happens awesome Oh, what's going on with SAPE? When was the last time you bought some SAPE links, uh, Mike? Michael? Not too long Mike. ago. Yeah, I've been having a hell of a time getting money in there. Oh, Could see, you, 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 you're, you're like the mad scientist in there. I, I just get it from someone. I don't deal with that trying to mess with SAPE at all. Hmm. Well, you really do get in there, bro. You just, <laughs> you be finding your own safe links and shit in there, Chris? Oh, definitely, dude. Oh yeah, like oh, I yeah, I filter nice. I filter by trust flow, and then I just look. I what I've been looking for is trust flow fifty pluses. So like not too long ago, I was they had Joomla on there, <laughs> so I had like some really they had some really juicy links in there for a, for a minute there. But yeah, I'm, I have a great account, but I haven't been able to get dough in there in probably the last two weeks, 10 days. Because I was looking to get some links out of there. That'd be a nice training for, for the for, for the black hatters, a little how, how to go fuck with SAPE the right way. Um, it, it's, I also heard you can't, they don't really accept American um payments or something like that right i don't know i think i had heard that a while ago but i just use a vendor 
yeah, I was using a virtual credit card, which, oh, you know, okay. I, yeah. yeah, I've used virtual credit cards, a debit card. Um, but again, it's, it's been a little bit, maybe they've been taking Bitcoin and stuff like that lately. That's what I figured. Yeah. The, with the crypto yeah. thing out, some Devin said, I've only done CTR with random user agents and Nord VPN. Do you do CTR with Gmail logins or totally random IP? Chris, I, I think you're you asking me. That one. Yeah. You, that, that's Devin asking us. So I had an amazing one-on-one -on -one session with Chris last Friday. Awesome dude. Okay. So where, where's the question at? I'm sorry. I've only um, done CTR with random user agents and Nord. Uh, you do CTR with Gmail logins or totally random IP. I utilize accounts, log, logged in accounts on, on a new fresher IP or at least fresh for the time being. Yeah, I use accounts. Yeah. And as far as the user agents are concerned, I mean, a lot of a lot of times or a lot of the tools, if you look, um, if you go and check the user agent, you'll see that um, a lot of them, not all of them, obviously, but a lot of them will be Mozilla. Um, you know, it, it'll be a variation and emulation kind of stinks sometimes. So just just be uh, mindful utilizing tools, depending on the tool you're using. So it is all about wanting to look as natural as possible for CTR. Yes, George, exactly correct. You want to make it look as natural as possible. Yep, you want to try. But that doesn't necessarily mean that, because I'm sure you, you've even fired up stuff and you'll get a temporary result at first if you hit something. <laughs> you will get temporary boosts. But I think for longevity, um, try to look as natural as possible for sure. Get data. Okay. I just started a local junk removal business, not ranking, looking where to start. Can I ruin my CTR by having people look at my page and they don't spend any time on the page? I don't think that's where to start, my friend. Nope. If, if you've just started a business, I, I think where to start is to bulk out the site is where I would start. Or if we're talking about a GMB asset, um, Mirror it over to a site. If you're just talking about a GMB asset, I mean, yeah, you can start running clicks, but I don't think that's what you're getting at. If if you're just starting a brand new asset, a, a new website in a space, I would look to get 100 pages on that website. Get 100 pages talking about junk removal, junk removal variation, some informational content, some commercial content. Look to get 100 to 200 pieces of content on there, regardless of how you get it. Uh, make sure your internal linking is good. Go take a look at the top competitor. They got 140 internal links point to a page that's winning. Beef it up. <laughs> make it 200. Make it 230. Um, take a look at their anchor text. Nine times out of 10 inside the local space, it's probably going to be naked or branded, which is the anchor text that's winning. I'd stick with that. Whatever's winning, that's what I would mirror. Um, and then if you're looking at total overall quality, filter by quality. If you're looking at trust flow, look at their trust flow 40 links or better. How many of those do they have? That's your number. That's the number you need to reach. So that's probably what's driving the site. That's what I would look to do. Bulk out the site, build however many Trustflow 40 plus links that they have. Make sure your internal linking is on point. Once you break first page, then worry about CTR. Yep. And for that junk, uh -huh. if, if you don't do dumpster rentals, right? Like, like when you're beefing out your site, discuss that and also i'd work out a relationship with, with a dumpster rental company right if you don't do that because you're gonna get some of those calls especially if you target your content the right way because it's completely in the same the entities are so related and work out some sort of deal with them if you can that's aside from the seo but that's business shit. you know what i mean referrals are a great way to feed business especially while you're waiting to rank or get ads up or what have you so that's something else you could do. hundred. Yeah. And, and, uh, does and I know Android that it's... Studio, <coughs> sorry. Does Android Studio emulator still work for CTR? If you can plug yeah. in, not like they did at first. Depends on the system that you're running and what kind of IPs do you have? What kind of proxies are you using and what kind of system do you have? I don't think you can generate enough fast enough. Um, 
to, to, to do it as well as you could at first. And I wouldn't use Android Studio. I'd move on to another, um, something that runs a lot faster. Yeah. All right. Um, is there any platform that CTR does not work? <coughs> this joke's on them. Um, okay. Thank you. Hello from the UK. What's the Holly difference between micro can... workers? Oops, Go ahead. Okay. No, I was going to say, Holly had said, can I suggest a test, Chris? Uh, did we get to hear what her suggestion was? <laughs> yeah, let's hear that. I'd like to know what it is. Um, and somebody asked that. about niche yeah. edits. Unless Will or Chris sell niche edits or whatever, you guys can hit me up. I actually, I could get you some niche edits. Let's see. Go What's ahead and uh, going right? Uh, my, uh, Michael, um, be like depending on how many you get, but it'd be like around fifty-five, sixty dollars. It's not that bad, but you got to get, you know, at least 10. 10, 10, 15, something like that. You know what I mean? Let's see what else here we got. Okay. So did you hit did you answer that micro workers and CTR geeks <coughs> question? There's two separate things, Adam. CTR geeks is just a group me and Brent, um, he, who's not here, created. Um, micro workers is a website where you go on to and Chris demoed last week and you hire workers from all over the world to manipulate to actually perform the actual click throughs for you. So it's real traffic. Holly wants to know what's your Tamaquam page on your website? Again, I'm not even, I'm not, he's not even like trying. One, That's what's great. What's there's crazy like, is, yeah, no one. I'm there's telling like you what's crazy here. about the whole thing is. <coughs> Um, if you go to his site or go to my site and then you audit this other person's site, you'll see that he's not ranking for CTR. He's not ranking for anything, but he is damn well ranking for, um, you know, best digital agency in Timaqua. And he's definitely ranking for rank fortress reviews. And it's idiotic. So, um, yeah, I, think I, I, I think, um, I, I, I removed a lot of, I don't even know if I have a, I, I, I don't even think I have any pages on there related to anything local, <laughs> to be honest. Yeah, with she's you. asking me privately too. He doesn't. Maybe you know, LA. Yeah, she I wants to link. Going. She wants to link it out because she's about to do something live, as usual. I mean, I could um, spit one out real quick, though. <laughs> yeah, spit one out, send it to me, and then I'll send it to her or whatever. Um, how do you get local businesses to start ranking higher for certain keywords? When a client is searching in that area, they're using local Falcon to track results. Have you done any actual on-page basic SEO, basic SEO structure, mirroring your GMB, internal linking content, you know, embeds on your map, embeds of your reviews? I mean, what have you done? If you're at this basic level right here, uh, don't even think about CTR, but I want to know what you were actually doing so far. Adam Hawthorne, thumbs up to you too, bro. Um, Boost Analytics, if we run Google Ads to a subdomain landing page, can that help with local SEO? And what else have you done? You're just trying to do a subdomain and run ads to it. What else have you done as far as actual on-page SEO? Most, part, most of the time people look at CTR as the silver bullet, and it's just not that. Get the rest of the stuff done. Get the basics done. You know, okay. let me see what you've actually done. Let me see your location pages. Let me see your entity. Have you created an entity? What are you using? You know, I mean, there's tons. Does of your other knowledge stuff. panel pop? Here's a He's simple one. Does, does your knowledge panel pop? Does it pop for you? You know, for your brand? Does it pop for any of your keywords? Like, the, are you recognized as any sort of authority in the fucking niche? Like, you know, that shit to really start thinking about. And and throw this in the air, right? Some crafty people around here. 
you can do shit, man, and make your knowledge panel pop, right? If it wasn't for certain keywords, you got to work at it, right? You know what I'm saying? That's that's out of the scope of what we're here for right now. But the point is, the more knowledge panels you could pop for more keywords, right? Not just your brand name, because that's easy to pop. The more you get noticed by Google, and that's something that you want. I think also Boost Analytics, when they ask that question, potentially, I don't know why they said subdomain though, um, but that doesn't really matter. I think they might be asking also, will that help like in Google's eyes, you know, with your entity or your prominence locally? Um, if so, I've seen on my end, yes. And there's also niche dependent. Some niches seem to be a lot more than others. Um, but these guys would be better to, to answer that question. Is in, in that retrospect, what do you guys feel like running ads? Will that help your local SEO? Let's say you got your local SEO tight. Now you start running some ads. Will you get a boost? I've seen boosts doing it. I, I agree I, I as have well. People that will, I have people that will say no, it doesn't help local SEO. I disagree. Test. I disagree. Test, as well. test, yeah. test, and I know for a fact yeah. it works. There you go. So boost, I'm not sure if that's what you meant, but for anybody else out there, hopefully that helps. You know, <clears throat> one of the things I heard recently, I'm probably going to make a video on this, is when it comes to SEO or anything, be an agnostic. Agnostic basically says, I don't know if I believe and I don't know if I don't believe, but I'm going to see. I want to test and see. If I find the evidence that this works, then I'm a believer. If I don't, I'm not a believer. So when it comes oh, to shit. anything with SEO or CTR or anything, and, you know, just make sure you test, test, test. It's one of our big things. So, yep. Uh, boost analytics. So they, they, they put, so the website has to be fully optimized to rank higher on GMB. We are just running paid ads, but we'll look into on page SEO next. So, yeah. So listen, you guys did the right thing, right? Paid ads. If you're doing them right, gets the phone ringing fast. Then you get your arm page together, content, content, content. Like Chris just said, you know, depending on your niche, you might even want more than the amount of pages and or content mentioned. And arm page is everything, right? All this other shit, like, I don't know much about construction, but fucking 101, right? Your foundation of the house has to be solid or else all that fancy shit, the skyscraper's not, I don't care how pretty you want it to look, it's going to fucking blow over the first time the wind blows. So yep. the on page, your on site, your inner linking, your silo, your structure, all that, that's the foundation of your business or your website. Then you build on top of that with links, with traffic, you know, and, and all the other advanced stuff. That's 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 um, my perspective. If I guys, if something I agree. Off, please add, okay, add on. Uh, da, 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 da. Mike, you knew more than you let on, bro. <laughs> uh, you missed it. You missed it yesterday, though. Was it yesterday, or the day before? Jesper came in and right. taught him how to scrape tumblers, bro. Oh, bro, listen, man. I sent Jesper a fucking message earlier today. Like, really, bro? <laughs> <laughs> like, really? And I didn't, I I didn't even put the rest of the message. Like, yo, Will was trying to get me and Brent to do that shit for a minute, but we was just playing dumb. <laughs> yeah, everybody, everybody in class, he said the CTR geeks were keeping their mouths pierced. Like, And uh, he came out with a course. He's dropping it this Friday. I know, and for super cheap, man, I'm like, damn. For what? <laughs> for How tumblers. tumblers and Everybody and their mother going to be on tumblers. DHG now scraping. You heard? Everybody and their mother going to be scraping for tumblers <laughs> once that comes out. But it is what it is. What, the scrape wow. box way doesn't work anymore? Well, mm. yeah. Hey, Chris. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but, yes, it does. <laughs> I'm sorry. No. Um, Follow-up question regarding Android Studio emulators. Emulators are connected to real mobile SIM 4Gs. Do you see that still working for Android emulators, working with that setup on your end? 
Do you see that you're still working for Android emulators? Working with that setup on your end. When he so, says Android Studio emulators, you talking about a device farm where the phones are sitting there, or is he that? Android Studio emulators doesn't mean that to me, but that's kind of what I feel like he's saying. Yeah, like I, I previously, when, when I first started learning about uh, setting these devices up, like the first iteration that I was working on three years ago, um, I, I was working with the Android Studio and creating emulators in there. Um, I don't use that anymore. Um, it did work very, very well, but you needed to have a lot of resources in order to be able to do it properly. So as far as it working anymore, you know, it's been a very long time since I went in there and utilized that particular setup. Um, could it work? Maybe. It's not what I do, though. I don't recommend it. I think that it's a little bit too slow for normal people, you know, unless you have like a supercomputer and you can get a lot of them up and running and you can create proxies. Um, and you understand like how to create the proxies, create new uh, user accounts, and you can like generate them. You might be able to get something running, but I think there's a lot better options uh, out there and available to you for sure. As far as what Mike's talking about, I think that is worth a. <laughs> My bad, son. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see here. <clears throat> so the website has to be fully optimized to rank higher on GME. We're oh, just we hit that already. Dead. Yeah, you hit that I think already. It's showing up old ones. And then, all right, that clarifies so much. Thank you for that. Appreciate it, Boost Analytics. Let's hide that one. Yeah, Boost Analytics and. Where are hiding? Susie, thank you for that, Susie. Hey, uh, do you, uh, e either one um, of you gentlemen, could you, can you take a look at this? I, I'm curious of something. Uh, recently, I figured out a way to be able to get a knowledge panel, right? Um, William, if, if you can, I, you don't have to show publicly, but I'm just curious, what do you see when you search for this right here, this knowledge panel here, this KGMID, this, this particular one, I put it in the private chat. Yeah. Give me one second. When you search that does, um, I think it's Brian, a bride. <laughs> yeah. And then, but. Isn't that, do you think that that's interesting and, and intriguing? Do you see the, the picture that's there or am I the only one that sees that? Like, right no, I you? see it. I see his, all his pictures and stuff. Okay. But do you see, but it says on, it says that name, but do you see the initial logo up at the very top? Like I see his small one, but then above that. No, I don't. I see all his stuff. Okay. Okay. I was just curious. Um, yeah, me too. A little thumbnail next to his name, and it says YouTuber. Yeah, and then above that, do you see anything there? Now above that is where it says, you know, the result, the amount of results. Yeah, there's nothing underneath that. Underneath the no. results, not a photo. Yeah, photo of him. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Thank you. Mm -hmm. It's Andrew and Holly real quick. Um, she made up a uh, Google News site for you, Chris. Um, let's see here. So when is come to the knowledge plane, you would say that's basic first tips when it comes to SEO. Knowledge yeah, panel. Knowledge panel, not just, plane. Just so he knows, because I know there's a lot of terminologies we throw out there. Don't yeah. want to assume. And, and knowledge panel, is it basic SEO? I mean, most SEOs don't even, let me not say most. I don't want to put my foot in my mouth. A lot of people doing SEO work, they don't even know about popping on a, a knowledge panel, right? They just, if they know about it, it's because they know about their branded knowledge panel, per se. So... It's not something that you need to stress, but it's something you need to keep your eye out on for your brand name as soon as you have your GMB, right? 
if you type your brand name into Google and your knowledge panel is not popping up, you need to start fixing that. And it's also right for people that get new GMBs and they're into that whole lead gen game and, and or getting multiple GMBs for, for your business. Always remember that if you get the exact match GMB title, right? Geo uh, plumber, Miami, you're not getting a knowledge panel ever. Right. So be slick. Do something to it that makes it somewhat brandable, but still has the keywords in it. And you and you will get the knowledge panel. Right. So that's that's like a little. Uh, that's a tip I wish I would have picked up on a lot sooner because yeah, a lot of the GMBs I have. Like it's. I'm never going to get a knowledge. It's just fucking impossible, right? Because it's straight up broad keyword geo. And it's just not going to happen. But you add in a little LTD or CO or guys or pros or whatever. And there you go. Now you now you could pop it. A good book if you want to study um, on knowledge panels. And if you will... Um how to get them. There's a good SEO book and I found this and actually Chris's group. I saw it pop up probably months ago is by Dixon Jones. It's called entity SEO where you're moving from keywords or strings and searches to things. I want to become the number one plumber in all of Orlando. When someone types in plumbing, you know, wrench, I want them to see me. They type in, you know, plumbing tools. I want them to see me. That's how you become an entity. But that comes a lot of work. It's not just, you know, hey, let's throw up a keyword and get ranked for a keyword. And you're no. Done. You content. Know, you're content. Trying, you're, content. It's, it's long. It's a long game. It's a long game. Yeah. Like, and Will, Will, Will could put you on to this shit. And, and Chris, I'm sure. You got to build out your topical relevance, your plan, your entity, like the content, right? Like before this was like keywords, right? Now it's like, what entities do I need to hit and silo the content based off that, right? So that Google understands, okay, this guy's into plumbing, but look at all this content he has on wrenches and all the other tools of the trade, right? And that's its own silo on the website. That has nothing to do with linking to the fucking service page. Google don't care about that. They connect it by the the site structure, right? You got to feed Google with all the topical clusters. Like, you know, there's a lot of tools out there. I'm not going to get into that, but like we use phrase as one of them, right? You know, when, when we're done using several tools, pop pop it into phrase. You know, if we're not covering all the entities and the topical clusters, got to go back and touch that up right it's not all about just keywords and lsis even though those are entities some of them you have to make sure you clearly identify what google determines is the entity or the entities related to your niche and then write a shit ton of content about it google your main keyword look at the questions and the people always ask right if there's softwares to do it as well as a ton of them, you want to answer the questions, answer the questions. That's Google's game. People type shit into Google, into Google. And what do they do? They give an answer, right? So find what questions your potential customer is asking and answer them. It's not fucking complicated, bro. So before you worry about links and CTR and what proxies and all this shit, Get your arm page together. Learn how to fucking interlink your content, right? Because there's so much power in interlinking the shit the right way. Learn how to silo your content and understand what we mean about entity. And then come back and say, hey, I'm on page or slot. Now what do I need to do? And then that's when we come in and we say, send some links, send some traffic, right? And one thing I will say, though. Branded traffic starts immediately. There's no need to wait for that. Keep it slow. Keep it steady. It's like you just want to keep jabbing them consistently in the fucking face with the brand, with the brand, with the brand, with the brand. Rant over. My bad. 
Hey, and, and, I, and I get passionate. One last thing. I get passionate about that because I spammed my way to the top and did the complete opposite of what I just said. Now, this is years ago, right? So I've learned to my lesson, but I still just want to buy backlinks that's just spammy anchor text, the keyword I want to rank for. I don't want to write a bunch of content about or like, fuck that, right? But that's what's needed. So take <laughs> it from someone that yeah. does not like doing all of that shit. I hate it. But it's what needs to be done. What's up, Holly? Got Holly in here now. Hey guys. Oh, let's see here. Oh, not trying to shut Doing up and listen. Good. Susie says, "Oh, Holly." Oh, let's see, Mrs. I bought a thousand domains on the weekend. Yeah, I did. I was up at three in the morning buying more. Yeah, tell her say I dare someone to tell her she can't buy two thousand domains. She'll tell them say I'll hold my peanut butter and jelly sandwich, bitch. <laughs> hold my peanut butter and jelly sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> oh, That's love funny. it. <laughs> Chris is about to. That's a freaking T-shirt. <laughs> hold my, hold my sandwich. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. That's good, man. Uh, what strategies would you suggest to get knowledge panel for keywords? Brand name plus keyword. I mean, that's the to start, right? It's going to take a while. It's a lot more than that. And I, I personally, maybe Chris will give it up, but I'm not going I'm into that sick right now. now. I'm oh, really sick you? right now because I, I recently was able to get a knowledge panel, but um, this was back in July is when they said, okay, you successfully have it. Um, I'm just, I was looking at the uh, success. You've claimed your knowledge panel on Google, right? So I had the panel and everything's good. And I go and check it. It gives me the search, the old panel. And then I'm checking it and I'm like, oh man, it's, it's like they swapped it on me. So they, it, I'm really sad right now. I was going to, I, I would love to give it, but I don't know. Um, maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> what I learned is you can go and, uh, grab them, um, you don't want to start a fresh one. You want to take what's already existing. Um, and they generally let them fly uh, online. Well, they did. I don't know if I got caught or what. Maybe I got caught. I don't know. Uh, so I'm sad. I'm very sad. Ah, Let's see so what else we got right going now. in here. Son of a <laughs> Somebody asked a sales question. Yeah, there it goes. That'd be more for Will as one of you guys, not me. When you guys get new clients, their websites suck. How do you get them to trust you and buy into a new website redesign uh, before you do SEO work ads, etc.? So, Min Lee, what I do in my top of my funnel, which Chris, we've talked about, is my audits. I have several audits you'll see coming through this week on my channel in which I basically, they wanted me to do an SE audit. And the first thing I say, I says, I'd love to give you an SE audit, but honestly, your site sucks. You need a new website. Here's why it sucks. And I show them, okay, who's the top three? What do their sites look like? You may like site number 20, but for me, site number 20 is number 20. I want to look at the top three to five and go, what does their site look like? What's it structured like? Was what type of images they're using, et cetera, because obviously they're winning and they're winning for a reason. That's how I sell. Now, I also go in and do the SEO audit or mini audit form and say, here's the SEO issues that you're having. But ultimately, I show them, hey, you need a new website. Then I go to my website page in my audits and you'll see me where I go, hey, you can pick up a website for $350. And right now, matter of fact, still it's 50% off everything in the store. So... Everything in my store right now is 50%. We've been selling websites and SEO like crazy. So that's how I sell them. I don't have a sales deck. My sales deck are my audits. So um, here we go. What a killer about SEO entity. Yeah, you can get it on um, Amazon Kindle right now, but he's actually out of stock because I just bought, <laughs> I bought like 40 of them for my team. So. He's out of stock on Amazon, at least. Um, you can contact Dixon Jones on Facebook, though. Uh, Great Merlino. Um, where can I, okay, where can I learn about interlink properly? 
I go over it in GMB Pros. I'm not going over it this week. This week we already had our – I had my class. Next week I'm going over citations and structured and non-structured citations. And then after that I'll probably be going over internal uh, internal linking. And I use Link Whisperer. I mean, it's not that difficult yeah. using Link Whisperer. But, um, let's see here. I know most of this is over my head, but I just wanted to thank you all. Appreciate it, Heads Room. Um, Susie, the news queen, powerful. Yeah, still can't hear you, Holly, whatsoever. Uh, this is like one, yeah, this is recorded and posted. It's posted live on my YouTube channel. Um, I don't know if it's live on Chris's, but it's live on mine and it's posted in the group. Y'all can rewatch it anytime. Um, is this on YouTube right now, Will? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. oh, it's we live, are, we on, live YouTube. on YouTube. Live on YouTube oh. in all the groups. So it's internal across oh. all the groups. Oh, Please. that's why we on Restream. Okay, yeah. duh. So what's funny, what's funny was I had looked at Restream because StreamYard was giving me a pain in my ass and I didn't like some things it was doing because it was real <laughs> jittery. And you'd see me get aggravated with Chris. You, I can't see you're like uh, 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 robot. <laughs> and it was because StreamYard and I haven't, haven't had that issue with Restream. Then on top of it, um, I've started live streaming on Twitch. So I had all these other platforms I wanted to be on. So we went to Restream. Then the next day I see Chris, he's up at Oh, dark 30 and he's doing you know a live about restream i said he's got lee restream yeah dude because the cool thing about restream is when i invite someone chris can actually go live on his channel or whoever wants if you have a youtube channel you can go live across all your channels so instead of it just getting traffic from us it's also getting traffic from whoever else so um because we're just trying oh, to i need power to, I need to re hook up my restream i had cop that shit on app sumo Remember I told you when I was trying to do the gaming, streaming with the entrepreneurial yep. thing? So I have a restream hooked up to face, a Facebook page, Twitch, Mixer. Yeah, you need to I'm get me a, hooked up on that because <clears throat> rebrand it because I'm going to be doing it for Google My Business SEO, you know, if you will, gamers. Nah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do it, bro. And we, you hold me accountable to it because we'll have one of our CTR sessions. We'll get, we're going to get crit. We're gonna get Chris Palmer on a game somehow. Yeah, someday. I already, I already got a bunch of different games and shit. I have one boy. I'm just in the PS5. I am um, horrible at freaking games. No, I Maybe that's why he played them. I played Pac-Man and shit. Suck so bad. I was sitting here this past weekend playing Pac-Man with my daughter, and it said it reminded me when I was her age and I was with my father. So I love Pac-Man because my dad used to take me to quote unquote Dairy Queen. And we go have ice cream and sit there and just play Pac-Man on the old Atari machines with, you know, like, you know, all the old school shit. That's what I like. And then I also have, uh, you know, shooting games and I have Tekken 7 and I have Madden. I'm a Madden fan, bro. You get me on I'm Madden. I'm busting your ass on Madden, Will. No, we'll see. Oh, we'll, 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 see. we'll go at it, son. I don't. <laughs> oh, we'll go at it. It's a bad. But before I play you, I have to lab for like a month because I will. Yeah. That's that brings back memories. Wow, man! Yeah, I used me to play. My, back me in the day, my, bro, I used to sit at home, yeah. right? Pick up the phone yeah. for my business, and in between calls, just be on Madden all day with a big whiteboard with all my cheap plays. And there was this website where you would play. You could only play for five dollars, ten dollars per game, but that's what I would do all day. Just play Madden. Yeah, me and my brother-in-law. Whenever I was um, years ago, my brother-in-law is the one that got me involved in poker. And he's also the one who got me involved in Madden and playing God of War because I love God of War. Mm. I always wanted Madden. to play that, but never did. It's yeah, got a cool name. God of War, repetitively. Um, but then a um, bunch of hack em slash em type games, and then I play um, shooting games, and then I also play Madden. But um, let's see here. Okay, let me go back to this one because this is a follow up. Got it. Audits make total sense after you make their website. Do you charge a monthly for maintenance and content creation, et cetera? So how do I price that sort of thing out? I do one-offs. So if someone's an SEO client, depending on the package you're getting, like my highest package, you're getting like four press releases and four blogs a month. They're getting a lot. They're getting a bit of content, but if they want the amount of content, I would suggest 20, 30,000 words of content. If they buy that as a one-off. 
Um, and it depends on the niche based on what I'm going to tell someone, Hey, do you need 5,000 words of content or a hundred thousand words of content for like me, for example, on an international site for a website, was it web, uh, white label SEO services. I'm building out 50,000 words of content every month. We already got over a hundred thousand words of content on the site. Um, so it just all depends on that. If you get them a website, I, you can see what we rank at. And Ming Lee, I don't know if you're in the U.S. or in the Philippines or where you're at, but it all depends on where you're located as well, your pricing, um, in my in my book at least. Um, you obviously can't do a press release for 20 bucks or 25 bucks or whatever in the States. I mean, you can, but you're in the States, for crying out loud. Where are your guys getting your quality links from? Are you doing link outreach or buying them from somewhere? What I mean by quality links is the ones you've been okay or pointing to your money site. Um, I buy them. Buy them, and then one of which Holly has Holly's News Network, in which you can get, you know, you power up your money site direct. You can send those links direct to um, your regular money site. Or, you know, your G-Stacks or wherever else you want them to. But Google News Sites and then Tumblr and then, you know, all types of things. Tweet, you know, tweets, a bunch of stuff. So there's a bunch of stuff we can do. What what links do you buy, Chris? Do you, well, like, do you... Um, Niche edits. Is it a, a vendors? Specific, uh, private, different? Private. Private, private okay. Yeah. That's what I figured. Uh, mainly do Loom videos, audits via Loom. Yep. Follow my audit process. There's a reason why I do it. It works. You know, I do, I do, I have a month worth of audits. I've already recorded a month worth of audits. So my December has already booked out. So, um, and that's through Loom audits or in nowadays I do, you know, everything through OBS, but, um, you know, Chris Palmer, is top in local SEO a must follow? I agree. Yes, sir. I love Madden. Yeah, you gotta hook up with me, Chris. You gotta have to hook it up. Um, what's Holly's news great. site? Yeah, no, Chris Goldsmith. Chris Goldsmith. Yeah. Um, Holly's news site. If you go to, and I'll show you guys this real quick, and then so I can do a. Uh, so I can show y'all guys. This is one place you can get them at. I'm not saying you have to get them here, but this is where we get them from. I mean, so um, if you go to Holly's News Network, this is her website, right? And then if you go over here and hit Holly's News Network, <clears throat> these are all Google News sites, and she has different packages. The one package you don't have listed on here is unlimited, but, you know, this is one post a day, two posts a day, three posts a day, four posts a day. So, and I go through this on my, um, in uh, YouTube, I have a four or five step process um, when I do press releases and blogs. And part of it is what I'm using Holly's News Network to do. Because everything that I do when it comes to a blog is daisy chain to a press release, or to YouTube, which is daisy chain. Back to the blog, back to the press release, back to Google News Sites, and then powered up. So, um, but this is what I mean when I say this. So, yep, go ahead. Yeah, uh, I got my patch number one for digital marketing service wherever he lives. <laughs> hey, um, I'm gonna take Holly, that whole day to for you, dude. What? What's up? How many? How many URLs am I allowed to add into that into a post within the network on one page? I mean, uh. I've been known to load it up with 600 URLs. So, I mean, if, if you can put as many URLs as you want. Okay. Okay. If you put them in iframe, um, that's fine too. Cause, uh, you know, our, I think, uh, we have the Google bot every come every five minutes. Um, right now. So it's reading iframes. I think we're, we're at about, I, I asked Austin, he said that we have, we're getting hit like every seven seconds. Um, so yeah, it, they're going to get called or, you know, loaded up. So Holly just uh, made you once again, the best digital marketing agency in Temecula, Pennsylvania. 
on her patch at work. <laughs> Six minutes, bitch. Yeah, you also got you know, 730 new sites. So uh, I, I did a, a little bit slower come out on that. So just a little bit slower. Just a little. I mean, like slower, like in like 10 minutes, they'll probably be there, but that's slower to me. So. <laughs> Oh, he's a trip, man. That's hysterical. I'm curious. Now, I want to go for that same title. I just want to see something here. Any tricks for your news? Websites, Holly. I found William posting YouTube video in lots of iframes on the news network the other day. What's that all about? Lots of iframes? Uh, just iframes are... That's your YouTube have... embed. He's talking about your YouTube embed, which is separate from uh, your Google sites. Uh. So I mean, I have uh, the auto loop embeds, which yeah, it's different. It's on it's on the store, and then I have the news network, which is different. I mean, I have all the different services, so I'm trying to cover everything that I do, more or less. So Adam, I'll show you what you're talking about. So for instance, let me look this up real quick, and I'll show you the embed reviews. And then let's go in here and see something quick. All right, so click on this, click on this. I'll oh, find it and I'll show you. Okay, for example, what you're talking about on her embed network is this where you go into here and you're seeing my um, videos, all that shit up here, news. And then this is on her embed network, which is this right here. This is, they're popping up in the actual SERPs, the embeds and stuff. So, um, but yeah, and that's through, if you go to Holly's website, I'll go through here real quick. And if you go to her store, underneath here is a um, service for YouTube. She has Reddit, Patch, um, this YouTube embed network right here. Or it's, you can get 75 videos, of, you know, or 25, whatever you want. Um, it's really cool. And that's part of my, if you will, what I do whenever I am I make a video. Then after I make a video, I have a process. Part of that process is Holly's um, news network. And on top of that, on top of that is her embed network. So, so let's see. Um, hey, Chris, <coughs> I got a scoop, guys. Uh, it's ten o'clock here, so I'm gonna I'm gonna hit the sheets. But uh, yeah, hopefully tomorrow we'll see that that whole search take over with all bunch awesome. of bad. Appreciate, it, so. <laughs> Appreciate it, Holly. See you, Holly. Thank you. Have right. a good night. See you. Um, can you repeat that? Um, she's already left for the building, so we'll get it next time. But. Um, I actually have to get off here in a few minutes because I got a full day. Today's my day. I'll see you again later tomorrow morning, Chris. But oh yeah, I have a full day. I got like fourteen appointments today. So nice. All right. Yeah. yeah. All right. Appreciate it, guys. Next week we'll be back here again, going over CTR manipulation, CTR manipulation, anything y'all want to know. So just. Everything regarding questions. CTR, GMB, get some fresh questions in. We're going to be doing this on a weekly basis. So, um, Yo, and more listen, than anything, come prepared. Test, test. Test and come prepared. Yes. Jot down your questions and fucking hit us. Got us here. I would, If it was me, I'd take advantage. Yeah. Yep. You know, We're here I to have more questions than we have time versus having us shoot the shit. And that's just yeah, my I mean, advice. Take it or leave it. Please. Yeah, because we could talk <laughs> yeah. hours. Yeah, dude. We want to help you guys. That's the goal here. Help me help you. <laughs> I love yeah, that one. You know, you know I like this one, Mike. You like this. This guy's nickname is Booty Base Wizard. <laughs> Booty Base Wizard? Oh That's shit. old school, bro. Probably old wow. school. I'll be back. <laughs> Thank you all. Thank you guys. All right, guys. I appreciate you guys. All right, guys. I'll see you in the all morning, guys. Have a great one. See, see you brother. in the morning, Chris. Appreciate Michael, it, brother. Have a good one. You. See you guys. Yep. Peace Bye. out. All right.
Nice. You're in the show. <laughs> We're in the show. So many SEOs that hate me and say that I'm still in their methods. They bitching and cry, labeling me SEO Black Hatter was a nobody. Now I'm at the top. Most wanted, most loved, bad business owners, and hated by most SEO opponents. You think you're an SEO god, but you're an SEO fraud. Guess I'm the SEO devil. Shout fuck the SEO guys. White hat SEO doesn't make sense. Going with the goody goodies. Up in heaven, dressed in white. I like black tins. I like black hoodies. Fake SEOs up there probably have me on some real straight shit. No sleeping all day. No getting my dick licked Hanging out with the goody two shoes Lounging in paradise, whole shit Fuck that shit, I wanna use 